You want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Build it and they will come. This is a New Jack City, homie. Turn up your sound component wherever you are right now. We check up the volume, we'll be able to tell what you have for lunch. The next hour is going to change everything you think you know about building your business, starting your business, and raising the money for your business. Show me the money! Welcome to another Reg A Money Show. This is Ron Costa in the Reg A Money Studios with Miguel Dotris and on the iHeart Radio Network, amongst others. Miguel, how you doing today? Ron, I am doing outstanding. It's another, it's another beautiful day here in uh, sunny South Florida. Today, I really wish that I was in the studios with you at the uh, Reg A Money Studios there in Las Vegas, Nevada. But unfortunately, I find myself uh, in the midst of uh, a hurricane and all the stuff that we got going on. And uh, but it's very exciting, even though even though we may be uh, having a weather event here, we're still we still have some very exciting stuff going on in the reggae industry, and and a lot of other people are coming out and using the reggae to access capital markets. So you know, great show last week with Carl Dilly from from uh, Endurance Exploration and uh, Island Stock Transfer, always a, a great wealth of information. And, you know, Ron, as always, we got another very big show here today. Yes, we do. Nothing will stop the reggae money show, even a hurricane. But, yes, well, hopefully this, this hurricane, or was it Irma, will change directions and not cause the kind of devastation that we saw with Hurricane Harvey and Oh, man, boy, I'll tell you what, I, I, I'm just hoping for the best from all that. But, uh, but yes, yeah. reggae-wise, there's always uh, things going on. And, uh, you know, we, we always have things to address on the show. Today we want to address something, Miguel. A lot of people have been talking about it, asking questions on this one particular point that, I, honestly, I, I don't see anyone else in this industry covering, and it's a huge, huge factor in why an issuer would want to do a reggae, right? And that's basically, you know, how do you, what do you do with your shares? What do you do as an owner of the company? And how does that work out based on, you know, versus a traditional IPO? How does your shares on a, on a reg A, how do you make the most of those? How do you optimize it all? And, and, and what makes this a better deal than a regular IPO because of that factor? Well, let's, let's talk about that, Ron, because I think you're bringing up a great point. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of capital that's being created out there in the reggae money uh, industry right now that's going on, and, and a lot of capital is, is actually being created uh, currently. So how is that capital created, Ron? And, and you know, uh, it's a fair point, and it's a fair question. Uh, you know, uh, here, here's, here's basically what we'd like to review today. You know, we, we're going to review how that capital is created, what people, their stock, how people can convert that stock into, into liquidity, what are the elements involved? I think that a lot of that stuff is going to have to be covered today, you know. And I think that as we have, as we come uh, to know here on the show, uh, we got a we got a nice little segment, Ron, that we should do here in the first segment that we call incoming mail. I got a I got a great email that I'd like to share with you and our listeners that I received over over last week. Uh, that has to do Absolutely. with this specific. That has to do with this very specific topic, and I think it's very current. So, I, I, the the uh, the, uh, the email comes from uh, one of our listeners. Uh, he's out of North Carolina, Raleigh, North Carolina, and his name is Richie. And uh, Richie's been listening to us. Uh, he says that he's been listening to us ever since the uh, Donald Trump uh, show that we did on if uh, if Donald Trump is going to be good to reggae uh, as the president. And I, I think we were all very positive about that. And that's when he started listening. But he had a very wow, interesting great. question, Ron. I'm going to read from his. I'm going to read from his email. His email says, "Hey guys, from the Reggae Money Show, Miguel and Ron, big fan here in North Carolina. Uh, I am interested to finding out. I am an investor in a lot of penny stocks. I do trading during the day. I trade um, on stuff that carries momentum and sometimes of from my own analysis. I would like to know." If I were to purchase Reg A stock in a offering, is that company's securities liquid in the market? And how do I know if there is a market for those securities? Uh, very good question. I think that has to do a lot with what we've been talking about here. Uh, Richie, thank you very much, first of all, for listening to our show. We really do appreciate you 
uh, listening and staying tuned for all the stuff that Ron and I cover here on the Reggae Money Show. And, Ron, you know, uh, we, could, we could cover this. I think there's two very important points, and I'm going to outline them here before we go to break. And then when we come back from break, we can really go into real nice detail in regards to this. But first, let's talk okay. about that. You have, you have common stock that the company is going to create when it's incorporated or when the company is established. That common stock then is either sold to uh, investors who are the founding members of the company or two are given as compensation for employees of the company or three are sold uh, to private investors um, who are qualified investors because those are the only people at the very beginning who could be qualified to purchase these types of security. Now, those securities are not registered with an exchange and they're not registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission. It is a private sale of stock, a very important uh, consideration to make. So let's take a small break, Ron. I think we we get a break. Let's let's get some commercials here. You guys that are listening, you're listening to Ron Costa and Miguel Dotres here on the Reggae Money Show. We're going to break down exactly what it means to have common stock in a reggae and what that 30% of selling shareholder really means to you guys. So stay tuned, Ron. Take us out. Yeah, good stuff, Miguel. We'll be right back. 